Hey everybody, it's Brandon. Today I've got a, a couple of big piles of books here that I pulled off of my bookshelf. And I just wanted to go over um, some of my favorite art books and some of the books that I recommend for people that are, that are starting to learn how to draw and that have more experience and just want to sharpen their skills. So um, I want to start with the first two books that I think are probably the most essential books for me. I find when people email me their portfolios or they ask for critique, 99% of the time I, I kind of give them the same feedback. And that feedback a lot of times can be contained in, in the stuff that I find in, in these first two books. So the first one I wanna talk about is Figure Drawing, Design and Invention by Michael Hampton. I spent many, many years finding, looking for a figure drawing book that met the criteria that I had for a figure drawing book. I wanted a book that was really, really applicable to the problems that I face as an artist as I'm trying to work through the anatomy. So a lot of the figure drawing books that I had found in the past, they would be very technical, they're very granular, they'd have all the names and everything, but you know it wasn't information that was useful to me. What's fantastic about Hampton's book is that it looks at the body in terms of masses, in terms of landmarks, and it's really practical to the problems of drawing. It shows the muscles and the human body you know, in a certain amount of motion so you can see how the interplay works. Uh, the other thing that I really love about this book is the introduction to it just has some great um, concepts and principles uh, that you can start building off of to do uh, your drawing. Some really great construction principles. I've recommended, there's um, page 50 of this book is a page that I've recommended a ton of times just because it has some great construction um, exercises on it. So I highly recommend this. The other thing I would say about this is it also has some really great stuff to say about the aesthetics and kind of the theory of building a human figure into uh, an artistic form and how to make it you know, pleasing to the eye. And so there's a lot of great ideas and thoughts on design as well. So uh, I highly recommend that book. Um, the other one that's... Um, in my top two is, is Scott Robertson's How to Draw. And it has a, a very audacious title, um, but it's one of the few books that really earns that claim uh, to greatness. So uh, what How to Draw is really focused on, it's focused on technical drawing. So you're gonna be looking at building you know, complex objects out of simple shapes, but it goes into you know, building cubes in perspective, um, and then it talks about you know creating perspective grids and placing thing in, in per, things in perspective grids. So um, this is is definitely a must-have for learning perspective and how to kind of place things into perspective. So I highly recommend this one as well. For both of these books, um, if you do pick them up, the way that I would approach them is to approach them like a workbook. Um, sometimes there there may be actual. Um, exercises that they recommend, but sometimes it'll just show like the way a certain bit of anatomy works or whatever, but treat every page of these books like a workbook. So you may want to do a certain amount every day. You pick up one of these books and you read a chapter, read a section, a principle, uh, and you just want to copy the images that you see, or if there are actual exercises, do the actual exercises. So um, that's kind of what I did as, as I worked with both of these and you just work through them little by little and, and page by page. And, and once you kind of copy the stuff in the book and do the exercises, then it would be a good idea to spend a little bit of time just playing around with the concepts that you've learned. And so once you figure out, okay, these are kind of the parts of the anatomy of the back and you copy the pictures of the anatomy of the back in Michael Hampton's book, then you can go and kind of do your own versions of the anatomy of the back and, and play with it a little bit. And the same with Scott Robertson. So um, those are the first two I recommend. The others that I, I think are fantastic for beginners are, um, this is Betty Edwards, uh, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. This one is a really important book because this is kind of the best book about observational drawing. One of the reasons it's so great is because of the emphasis it places on portrait drawing. And portrait drawing is, is really, really important for learning how to get those very accurate observational studies. 
you look at almost any amazing artist out there and they have incredible observational skills. So um, if you are a more experienced artist that's kind of plateauing or if you're a new artist, it will not hurt you whatsoever to, to work on your observational skills. So I highly recommend this. Um, let's see, the other beginner book, I put way at the bottom of this stack here. Let me pull this out. Um, this is James Gurney's Color and Light. Uh, this is the best book to start with if you're interested in rendering, color, painting, anything outside of just traditional drafting line work. This is the best book to pick up. Um, it covers the topic of gamut. Um, so, and he kind of breaks down the color wheel and kind of tells you why everything you've learned about the color wheel is wrong. Um, so that's the other one I would recommend. So those four are really the best place to start, I think, if you are, are learning how to draw. Okay, so those are the really essential books. Those four books are the ones that I recommend for anyone that's really starting out. I wanna kinda of show a couple of what I consider honorable mentions now. I don't think they're as essential, but I think they're still fantastic resources. Um, Design Basics by David A. Lauer and Stephen Pentak. This is basically a textbook, like a, a college textbook. Um, this is just a really great introduction to design. It's very simple. It's kind of has a principle per page, like each chapter is like a page or two. So this is another fantastic one that you can kind of take a, a chapter a day, read through it, study it, do some of your own designs and studies. But this is fantastic if you're thinking about anything having to do with design, composition, making something pleasing and appealing. So uh, I would check that one out too. And a couple more for the honorable mentions. Uh, Memory Drawing, Perception Training and Recall by Darren R. Rusar. The reason why I love this book is because it's the only book out there that I can find that talks about memory drawing. Um, and that's another thing that I've talked about in other videos is how important memory drawing is and practicing memory drawing. Um, the most amazing artists in the world are the ones that have the best visual memory. And that's, that's a part of all drawing. Part of all drawing is, is visual memory, your ability to see something, remember it, and then, then copy it onto paper. And he goes deep. One of the things I love about this book is that he's done his research. He's gone back and looked at the old masters, how they treated memory drawing. And he has a bunch of exercises that I think are extremely challenging. Um, so if you're looking for a good challenge, uh, check this out, try out his exercises, and I think you'll have a really, really uh, fulfilling experience with this. Um, last of the honorable mentions, uh, Strength Training Anatomy by Frederick Delavier. Um, this is a really cool book. I think the book is, is made for, um, you know, people that are interested in strength training and want to understand the anatomy, but it's a fantastic reference for artists. The thing that's great about it is that you obviously, you get to see the muscles, how they interact, but he shows the muscles in motion, in movement, in different positions. And that's one thing that's kind of tricky about other figure drawing books is you see the muscles, but you don't see how their interactions change as the body moves around. And this kind of fulfills that purpose. You can see kind of those changes and those differences. Um, it's a little bit weak in the leg area. That's what, the one area where I wish there was a little bit more information, but if you want like upper body reference, it is fantastic. So that's another good one. A good, I think this is a good um, like compliment to the, uh, the Michael Hampton book. Okay, from there I wanted to kind of show you just some reference books. Like um, DK makes these great books that are just references on different things like Birds of the World uh, is a really cool one. Um, their book on fashion is like fantastic. I absolutely adore this book. And then uh, I've got this one on military history too. And so there are a ton of these. So you can get these for different animals, for military history, for more specific things. And so looking at these, you may say like, well, what's, what's the need of something like this when we have something like Google Images or Pinterest now? What's really great about these is these will give you um, very specific ideas of what you are looking for. So let's say if you go onto Google Images and you say, oh, I wanna look at guns. You're gonna do a Google image search for guns and Google's gonna give you the most general images of guns um, that it can, it can put together. This is gonna give you very specific ideas. So normally the way that I use these books is I'll say, hey, I want to find a specific type of gun, or I want to find something that's kind of different, and I'll flip through these and find 
a specific type of gun. And from there, then I can go to Google Images and search for that specific type of gun and it'll show me lots of examples of that. So this is a great starting point for just kind of finding some original, interesting, uh, neat ideas. You know, and if you are interested, more interested in these particular areas, you could certainly go deeper. I'm sure there are other books just on guns or other books just on fashion that you could dive deeper in and, and understand those even better. So the, those are kind of the things that I have in my bookcase. I know some other people like to have um, art of books, you know, art of Pixar, art of Disney, art of DreamWorks, any of those books. I should probably have some of those. I think those can be really great for showing the specific application and the problem solving that artists went into to, to carry out these, these different animated films. So those can be very helpful as well. These are the books that I really use the most and that I rely on for the art that I do and that I really study with. So please check them out. Um, you know, let me know what you think about them. If you have any questions, of course, you can always put them in the comments. So that's all for me today. Um, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.